people living at the extended suites on the I-65 service road in Mobile have until tomorrow afternoon to leave. The owner owes more than $463,000 in taxes and fees. A judge last month issued a padlock order closing the motel, but people tell us they have nowhere else to go and may become homeless. So it's either rent a truck for a few days or take a cab to the bus station and bail to somewhere else. And I'm just, uh, to somewhere else is just, excuse me. It's hard for Carol Silvers to say out loud what limited options he has for housing now. According to this notice from the city, everyone staying here has to be out by one o'clock tomorrow. You can't imagine. There's no words to describe what it's going to be like. Silvers and Diane Day have been living in this extended suites room for two years. The power was cut off to the motel one week ago and they don't have a car. You believe you'll be homeless tomorrow? Yes, <laughs> unfortunately. They were paying $200 a week to stay here, about all they can afford, Day says, on their disability check. It's hard to find a motel of this in that price range. Day says social services visited the site multiple times to assist people but haven't been able to help them. She called five different shelters. They didn't have room. Court records show in March the city filed a lien against Extenda Suites located on the I-65 service road. The city says the motel owner owes more than $463,000 in business and lodging taxes and penalties for non-payment. According to property records, k &A Family LLC owns the motel. On October 6, the judge issued a padlock order closing the business, but a bankruptcy filing put that on hold, giving residents additional time to find a place to go. Day estimates there's still about 20 people, including several children, living here. We're just, you know, if we could get more ideas of places to go, because, yes, we need somewhere to go. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, what enforcement action the city is taking against the extended suites in Tillman's Corner and what inspectors found there.